services throughout the day. News Channel 15 Sarah Schaefer has been keeping an eye on how voting has gone, so really things seem to be pretty calm so far. Yep, yeah, so far it's been pretty calm throughout the day, uh, but overall today it did go pretty smoothly everywhere. There were some places that had rough starts, but that's not exactly out of the ordinary. Lines seem to be considerably shorter than they were during early voting. More than 31,000 people voted early. The most a viewer told me they waited today was just over 90 minutes in Huntertown. McMillan Community Center had some technical issues that delayed them a little more than half an hour. Then a lot of commotion over in New Haven this morning. Before they opened, a booth died and had to be replaced, causing about a 25-minute delay. Then a polling employee got sick and had to be taken away in an ambulance. After that excitement, they too continued on fairly normal. As of a little after four, 130,000 people have voted in Allen County. But one particular voter in Ohio caught my attention. That's because she is 102 years old. All you, everybody that's able to vote, get out and vote. Because it's, it's worth everything that you can say. Thelma was just four years old when women got the right to vote. She's voted in every election since. Of course, a lot of people are watching what will happen in Ohio tonight, as it's one of the battleground states. But like Thelma and most of the people I talked to today, they're just excited that the election is here, and they're anxious to see what will happen. Good for her, getting Good out there her. and casting yeah. her ballot. Inspiration, yeah. right? Why yeah, not is. get out? You can't go out now. Yeah, no excuse. Yes. All right, thank you. Thanks.